Okay. I also read the liner book, uh, liner notes in the booklet, and you and Alex are really looking forward to playing some new songs. But I think that guitars on on some beats are so complicated. How will you divide them? How will you play them live? I mean, no, but they, uh, you know, on stage we have Dominique, that is the second <laughs> guitar player. So in the end, even if I harmonize more guitars in the album, then it's not a problem, no, because I already composed the, the part thinking that uh, some will be played by Dominique. Uh, so no, absolutely no problem. So, I, in the end, you know, me I'm a big fan of this uh, cacophony band of Marty Friedman, Jason Baker, like this. So in my mind, I really composed like uh, imagining that we are two guitar players on stage playing each, each one uh, his part. Okay, but w what about Dominique? Is he a full-time member or not? Because he's not on the big pictures, but his credits are still in the booklet. Yes, he is in the middle way, <laughs> purgatorium. Yeah. <laughs> no, in the sense that uh, he's uh, really our special guest on stage, no? Okay. So, um, let's say he's a real member on stage, but not uh, outside, <laughs> under the stage. <laughs> like we could say like this, no? Okay. Why have you decided to put off the tour until after summer? Do you have any plans for summer? Or? No, simply because uh, we didn't want to start with the summer festival. No? Oh, yeah. yeah. Because after four years that we don't play, it would have been a little bit uh, <laughs> silly you know, to, 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 to waste our image immediately. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Uh, no, when, uh, I mean, now we want reprise, we want to warm up uh, like this, and, and this is possible only playing uh, a tour. You know, we are a kind of international a band in the sense that yeah. our drummer is German, uh, two members are French, we are three Italians, so ready to, to organize everything is very difficult and very expensive, no? Mm. Uh, to organize the, the, the usual two weeks of rehearsing for a tour. So, then it's better to, it, it, just imagine that uh, we play three or four festivals, how much we have to spend just to, to organize uh, this, no? Uh, it doesn't make sense when you when we make this big investment for the rehearsing, then it's more obvious that you have to, to have to start with a big long tour where you are uh, possibly the, the liner, and, and then uh, when you are totally warm like this, you can face uh, everything, whatever festival they propose us. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Do you have any preferred band you'd like to be a supporter for Rhapsody on this tour? Not really. No, no, no. no. We are open to, to all the suggest suggestions possible. Okay, and also, what's the state of things with uh, your solo projects? Ah, uh, you know, now I decided really to take care uh, of Rhapsody 100%, you know? yeah. not that before I was not doing it, but uh, now I really uh, want to focus only on Rhapsody, uh, now I'm already working on new stuff, so you can imagine, no? Um, and so no, I now really after four years like this is already so fantastic. There's the possibility with at least with one band to, <laughs> to do something that uh, you know now I'm not thinking at all in this moment uh, about the, the solo albums or this stuff because also for example uh, we need apart preparing the live no for the end of the summer so uh, then we we need to to prepare anyway other new stuff because then if if we we play the long tour that we expect to play, then we will not have time uh, to, to, to enter in the studio to record something. So we have really to organize ourselves in the best way. And at this time, there is no space for my solo album. Okay, do you think you will be able to release New Rhapsody in 2011? I don't know, because I don't know if we will release the, the, the normal Rhapsody. You know, we had also this plan to release oh, sooner or later this uh, Rhapsody in Black uh, album. Oh. And it was very particular because uh, for me it was very important this, but then, uh, you know, uh, after when you have some, start having some problems like this, like this you prefer to, to, to not work on too many things, no? Mm. Uh, before it's better to solve the problems. Now that... Uh, we have Nuclear Blast uh, that they 
really don't care. We can release for them many things because they don't have problems of timing, telling, ah, oh, no, if this year comes this out, then this cannot come, or things like that. Yeah. We have uh, a lot of freedom to do, release whatever we want, of course, if they, if they like it and they support it, no? Mm-hmm. But uh, I'm, I'm very happy because Nuclear Blast really loves our music. Yeah. And so this, this makes sense also to, to take back some, uh, some projects that we kept uh, apart <laughs> for a while and we could start also thinking to, to release them so I don't know now I cannot tell you really if the next Rhapsody will come next year but could be also the Rhapsody in black who knows okay I see but all right what about the neoclassical revelation is it still going yes yes okay this is great because I think it's because of this course of guitar that I I decided to create so more technical, let's say, demanding uh, solos, no? Mm-hmm. In the direction of the new album. Because um, thanks to the course, while I was preparing all the exercises, all the scores for the, for the students, uh, I started loving the guitar, the guitar once again, no? <laughs> because just imagine, in the last 10 years, I think uh, I trained, I practiced guitar just six months in 10 years because uh, I was taking it just to compose yeah. or to, to rehearse before a tour. So just two weeks before going on tour. But I didn't like so much this, no? But uh, when you don't have time, I, I also like to play piano and all this stuff, no? Uh, many years ago. So I was always, I never found the time to do everything. And then the solo albums, all this stuff. So um, in the end, uh, and now, thanks to the course, I, it came back the first original patient that uh, made me decide to buy the first guitar, no? Yeah. And, uh, I, I, and at the same time I rediscover once again the great uh, masterwork of the 80s, uh, in Reminds in uh, solo albums, uh, uh, sorry, the instrumental albums, and then uh, uh, the one of Jason Becker and Marty Friedman, alone or with Cacophony. That, uh, because Speed Metal Symphony for me represents really the top, you know, as always for every guitar player. Um, and so I started listening again like this, so I came this patient once again, and so I decided that in the new album, why not to, to insist more on the solos if, if you compare with the old production where the, the guitar was both mixed uh, lower and the solos were shorter. I see. <laughs> Have you discovered some uh, extraordinary talents among your students? <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 there are some... Uh, no competitors some yet? Good, of course. <laughs> some that would become really better than me, of course. <laughs> but uh, and nowadays, you know, for example, me, I started gu- guitar, to study guitar uh, very late. I was uh, 16 already, you know? So when you start so late, you lose uh, a lot of... Uh, technical possibilities, no? If you start at uh, eight, uh, nine years old, like many are doing now, uh, they become already fantastic when they are 15, 16. <laughs> so, I mean, uh, but anyway, I mean, in the end it's not the technical ability, but it's more for me what counts the composition, no? Everything is a composition for me. Yeah. Uh, I don't care if one, so I, I don't like the John Baker or Marty Friedman because they were able to run uh, 200 kilometers per Per hour, no? mm-hmm. in the end, uh, really because of the composition itself, uh, I love the scales, the, the particular special exotic sound scales that Marty Friedman was using, the typical neoclassical way of playing of Jason Becker, and uh, I like a, a little bit of all this, and you hear also in our album there is a little bit of all this. Okay.